then you're just the man to go back and cancel it. Forget the whole thing, okay? <laughs> Lieutenant, you and I are getting on a boat whether you like it or not. <gasps> hey, who the hell threw that? <laughs> I did. And what are you going to do about it? Then she died. There's one thing we've got to clear up. It seems he left France in quite a hurry. Killed a guy. What do you think of that? Might be a handy man to have around. Cable. Okay, well, look at this. Good. Send it right in. No, she doesn't have time to change into her uniform. Tell her to come in. Come in, Miss Forbush. Captain Brackett, please excuse the way I, I look. You look fine. Uh, may I present Commander Harbison? Uh, I have the pleasure of uh, meeting Miss Forbush uh, twice a week. We serve together on the GI Entertainment Committee. Oh, and uh, this is uh, Lieutenant Joseph Cable, Miss Forbush. Please sit down, Miss Forbush. So uh, tell us, how's the Thanksgiving entertainment coming along? Oh, very well, thank you, sir. We rehearse whenever we get the chance. About a week ago, you had lunch with a French planner, Emile de Beck. Yes, sir. What do you know about him? Uh, uh, what do I know about him? That's right. Uh, well, we met at the officer's club dance. He was there, and I met him. <laughs> yes, And then we had lunch later that day. But, but what kind of man is he? Well, he's nice, he's kind, he's attractive. I'm sorry, sir, I just don't know what you want to know. Uh, no. <laughs> Ms. Forbush, what Captain Brackett would like to know is, uh, did you discuss politics? No, sir. Would you have discussed politics, Commander? <laughs> <laughs> what, what we're specifically interested in understanding is, well, generally when these fellows come out of France, it's because they've had some trouble. Has he told you anything about that? Well, has he told you anything about his family? Uh, he has no wife, no family, nobody. He hasn't any children? No, sir. And you say he hasn't told you why he left France? Yes, sir. He left France because he killed a man. Uh, did he tell you why? No. But he will if I ask him. Well, Ms. Forbes, that's exactly the type of thing we'd like to have you do. Find out as much as you can about him, uh, his opinions, his background, and why he killed this man in France. In other words, you want me to spy on him? I'm afraid it's something like that. Why? Do, do you suspect him of something? No, it's just that we don't know very much about him. And well, you know, he... Will you help us, Ms. Forbush? I'll try. Thank you. You may go if you wish. I really don't know very much about him, do I? He's kept a lot of secrets from her, hasn't he? Well, you don't just bring a couple of Polynesian kids on a woman straight off the bat. I'm afraid we're not going to get much out of her. She's obviously in love with him. <laughs> That's hard to believe, sir. They tell me that this man is 44 years old. <laughs> <laughs> It is a common mistake for boys of your age and athletic ability to underestimate men who have reached their maturity. Well, I didn't mean by that, sir. I was only just picking up. Young women frequently find a grown man to be attractive. Strange as that may seem to you. I myself am over 50. I'm a bachelor. And I by no means, Cable, consider myself through. <laughs> <coughs> What's the matter, Bill? Oh, nothing. Evidently. Okay. Okay, well, I'll see you in chat. Yes, sir. Hey, Kate. Yes, sir. You play bridge? Yes, sir. 
Got any money? Yes, sir. Well, I'm going to take it away from you. Yes, sir. <laughs> So what makes you so damn sure that this mission won't work out? Well, sir, Marie Louise Island is 24 miles long and 3 miles wide. Uh, it seems to me if they send out a message and then move to another hill, well, looking at this thing... Realistically. Realistically. They could last about a week. <laughs> but it would be worth it if it was the right week. If we had some decent information, our side could get moving again. Operation Alligator could get off its can. Here it is, sir. I got it. Okay, Bill, I'll see you at Chow. Uh, I'll see you at Chow, Bill. See you at Chow. Sir. Did you get the address right? I think so, sir. Mrs. Amelia Fortuna, 325 Euclid Avenue, Shaker Heights, Cleveland, Ohio. That's right. Uh, I'm going to pack it myself. All right, sir. Think of that idea. 
Well, don't say I didn't warn you.
I was never so strong. I knocked him to the ground, and when he fell, his, his head hit a stone, and I ran to the waterfront, and I, I joined a cargo boat. I, I had no idea where I was going. I, I stepped off that boat into another world, where I am now, and where I want to stay. <coughs> Will you marry me? We have such few days in our lives. The time I have with you is precious. Have you been thinking? I have.
give us your answer, I want to impress you with three things. First, you're a civilian, and you don't have to go. And there's no way of us making you go. Second, that this is a very dangerous mission, and there is no guarantee you'll survive, or that it'll do any good. And third, that it may do a world of good, and it may be the turning point of the war in this area. I understand all these things. Are you ready to give us your answer? I am. My answer must be no. When a man faces death, he must weigh his values carefully. He must weigh the sweetness of life against the thing he's being asked to die for. The probability of death is great for both of us. I know that island well, Lieutenant Cable, and I'm not sure that what you ask me to do is really- We're asking you to help us lick the Japs. It's as simple as that. We're against the Japs. I know what you're against, but what are you for? When I was 22, I, I thought the world hated bullies as much as I did. I was foolish and I killed one. And I was forced to flee to an island. Since then, I have asked for no help from anyone or any country. I have seen these bullies multiply and grow strong. The world stood by and watched. To help this Beck, let's be honest. Aren't you just a man in love with a woman and you're putting her above everything else in this world? Yes. I do care about my life with her more than anything else in this world. It is the only thing that is important to me. This I have. This I believe in. This I am sure of. And I cannot risk to lose it. Good day, gentlemen. Well, he's an honest man, but he's wrong. Of course we can't guarantee him a better world if we win. The point is, we can be damn sure it'll be worse if we lose, can't we? Well, can't we? Of course. Cable, there's a bottle of scotch in my bottom drawer. I'll see you tomorrow. Here. This is the one he needs. <coughs> oh, Commander Harrison. Oh, the old man, he left me with all these orders to be signed. And there's another delegation of French planters that are upset about that pig that we stole, and we like to be barbecued. But that was like an accident kind of thing. I don't, I can't explain it. Uh, it's also, um, they took another thing that you kind of said to keep under wraps, and I don't know what I should be doing about it. It's okay. I'll take care of it. <laughs> well, all right, sir. What should I do now, Commander Harbison? Go back to my outfit. No, uh, take a couple of days off and unwind. Unwind? Sure. Uh, take a boat. Go fishing. Take a boat. <laughs> Mary, what? You like? Who is 
French girl. She talk Canese like me. We very pretty people, no? Do you speak English? Only a few words. She talk French. En français. Je parle français un peu. Moi aussi, un peu. Are you afraid of me? Oh. Avez-vous peur? No. Oui. <laughs> no.
comment no dinner dinner <laughs> uh, Amelia, no, I can't stay. I gotta get that Jeep back. I stole it. Well, I borrowed it. Uh, a wonderful man named Phyllis stole it for me. I'm gonna have to sneak around the back of the hospital as it is. If you have to sneak off without anyone seeing you, you might just as well sneak back later. <laughs> oh, you're absolutely right. <laughs> I've never had such a wonderful time in my whole life. <laughs> that cute old man who spoke French with me and pretended he understood me. And that exciting native couple who danced for us. Oh, <laughs> it is so different from Little Rock! <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm not drunk. Oh, no. Yes, I am. <laughs>